been over four years since Lindsey Buckingham left Fleetwood Mac and eight years since his last solo album. He's let the dust of Fleetwood Mac settle while trying to rediscover his solo style. Theme-wise, Lindsey sees his latest recording as the rebirth of a 42-year-old man. He calls it Out of the Cradle, and he says the process of creating this album was rather monk-like. Working alone is just a way of doing it, and it is not necessarily the way. It's just a way that you choose. If you, if you are someone who can be that self-sufficient in the studio, you know, it's just a way to go. I was working uh, normal hours <laughs> by myself. I was getting up and starting work about 10, and then stopping, you know, maybe 10 at night. Uh, sometimes in the band, we wouldn't even start till 10 at night. You know, when in Rome, you pretty much have to go with the flow. And uh, that was something that used to drive me crazy. It's nice having a studio at your house. Certainly the price is right. For better or for worse, I define myself through my work a great deal. And having it at the house is just an extension of the rest of my life. And it just seems to make sense for me. Well, there's a shadow on my daddy's stone where he was laid, laid to rest. Is this just a dream or is it sort of set the tone for my way of thinking today, which is still try to do work that interests you, not do work that you think people want to hear. Because, you know, ultimately it's going to afford you a longer uh, creative uh, life. The title of Lindsey Buckingham's most recent album is taken from poet Walt Whitman's memoir of childhood, Out of the Cradle, Endlessly Rocking. You can see more of Lindsey Buckingham on VH1's concert series, Center Stage. I'm Meg Griffin for VH1 Inside Music.